guys welcome back to the channel welcome to the channel if you're new if you're new hit that subscribe button down below to become part of this family you guys today's video is a little bit different it's going to probably cause a little bit of controversy in the comments down below but that's okay i want to get the discussion going about what i'm getting ready to talk about right now okay um i posted a video yesterday and in that video it was some of you probably saw it i didn't even give it a chance to get that many views because i saw a comment there and i wanted to go ahead and expound off of that comment so i just pulled the whole video down so i'll still be showing you guys in this video how to make the vegan sweet potato pie it'll still be blog style but i just want to get it out there how i feel about this situation and use my platform to just spark a conversation okay so yesterday in that video in the beginning of the video i showed my hair just was like i got my curls out and i feel confident wearing my hair it feels amazing not hiding behind wigs or anything like that no more just speaking from my own experience okay matter of fact i'll run the clip for you guys to see it right now i got my curls back out today i did a wash and go i ditched the wrap for right now and just got my curls out y'all i feel so freaking beautiful with my hair short it's crazy because i don't have anything to hide behind no weaves no more hair i cut that off and i just feel so amazing true beauty really shine through when you could either pull your hair back you can see your true beauty pull your hair back or shave it all off okay that's how you really look <laughs> anyway y'all so you guys just seen verbatim what i just said okay i wasn't trying to tear anyone else down in the process my heart was right when i was talking about that i didn't have any type of malicious intent at all in my heart when i said that i didn't think anything of it i didn't think it would offend anyone i didn't think it would even cause a conversation okay but it did so um and at that time i wasn't even talking about race i didn't have anything any type of color type color going on in my mind i just said when you pull your hair back you you know either pull your hair back or cut your hair off which i was just kind of jokingly when i said cut your hair off i know it not everybody want to cut their hair off okay but when you pull your hair back it's nothing like seeing a, a woman who has her hair pulled back or something and just a washed beautiful face and just seeing her beauty for what it is you walk around nowadays you see a whole bunch of people caked up with a bunch of makeup a bunch of wigs or it, it, it does not matter you see that so much that when you do see someone with a fresh face and hair pulled back or something and just looking like their self in their true form it's so refreshing and i'm not here i'm not being the pot calling the kettle black because you guys know i still wear makeup and i'm not saying that i would never wear a wig anymore okay so that wasn't even to say any of that but it what i said offended someone obviously um or it kind of like you know sparked something in her uh rough foot or feathers or whatever and her name is debbie green and this is not to blast her or anything like that because she's been an avid watcher of the channel she's left positive comments so this isn't to blast her in any type of way and i'll put her comment what she said over here somewhere probably right over here so you guys can read it as well and she said natural is good for some people not everyone is on cutting off their cutting their hair off to be so we can be beautiful we are beautiful no matter how much weave wigs no matter how much weaves or wigs we wear and we aren't hiding behind it this is not throwing shade um it's just easier that's all love the vlogs with the kids the pie looks yummy okay so um shout out to debbie green thank you so much for supporting the channel i really appreciate it but what i want to say is it it struck me the wrong way and it began to bring color divide when she said natural is best for some people you are not going to see a white woman walking around saying oh natural is best for me only sometimes why because you see a lot a lot of white people and i'm not saying that they embrace everything that they have because of course they get the butt implants different things like that it's so much so many deeper layers to it that i feel but when it comes down i won't get into that but when it because i don't have time and i don't want to make the video too long okay but when it come down to it this is where race come into it at because you see a lot of black women say oh wigs are easier why how do i know this because that was me that was me okay so don't come in the comments talking about oh keisha just because you cut your hair off you think you better no you're preaching to the choir because that was me i was thinking oh weaves are easier different things like that and that's not <laughs> that is not teaching people who come up under us that's not teaching our children 
that's not teaching them in a good way, honestly, okay? Because I saw my mom wearing weaves, weaves and what I what did I think? I got caught up into that same cycle of wearing weaves, wigs, and you know, I still took care of my natural hair, but I, I just was like, oh, this is what you, you should do. You know what I'm saying? So we have to be careful. What makes weaves, on, what makes natural only good for some people? I don't get it. I don't get that. You should be okay with your natural form no matter what, no matter how you look, no matter how coily your hair is no matter how kinky it is no matter how long or short it is okay that process get us just into a bad cycle we should be okay with in our natural state natural hair natural curls natural whatever no matter what and i kind of i'm kind of giving her the, the benefit of the doubt when she said you know weaves are easier because i know it's easy it's good protective styling for some people and um or for most people it's good for protective styling you know but I, like i said in that video i was just speaking from my experience when you guys watch videos here on youtube always consider always consider what someone is saying in their situation a lot of you I, I try to share my story with you guys i try to be as open and transparent with you guys as i possibly can without just being like <laughs> to just you know without putting everything just out there but i try to let you guys in as much as possible with keeping something sacred for myself and i talked about on my instagram how i was insecure with my hair don't know why i was insecure with it but it's just a cycle of this wearing weaves and different things like that and then we get into a cycle of that and then we forget to embrace our own natural beauty and that's what it was and I'd be damned if I teach my daughter that okay I'd be damned if I it's, it's it was a light bulb moment for me so I'd be damned if I go backwards not to say like I said I'm not gonna wear weaves anymore but I am going to embrace the natural me um as much as i want to and rather that be coming on here saying oh i feel beautiful i look beautiful i feel you know good and fresh and i'm going to say that and i don't mean to come off offending no one i don't mean to come off you know is as, as cocky as arrogant or anything like that because i think a lot of you guys know who watch me i'm not that type of person i am not that type of person who's going to get on here and try to offend anyone and the reason why i brought black and white into a black into it and you know exclude white because i'm not talking to caucasians i know a lot of you probably are watching shout out to y'all but i'm not talking to any other race i'm talking to my black race because first of all like i said about the weaves the wigs and different things like that um it's us who is who is making the people who's making these weaves pretty rich because a lot of us wear our natural i mean wear weaves and wigs all the time which is fine if that's if that's what you want to do okay however it's always people who come from my neck the most is my own color okay my own color sisters that's my own color every time i say something even when i said about what me and my husband do for a living and i was like we should all do this you know we can all make it we can all have decent homes and different things like that black people was coming from my neck like nothing no, like no other okay white people was in the comments like congratulations you know i'm happy for you guys but a lot of black people not all of them because a lot of y'all support me and i really appreciate that from the bottom of my heart i appreciate all support but a lot of people who was coming from my throat was a lot of black women oh you think you better oh anybody can do this oh anybody can do that coming at me like i was trying to be offensive to someone and that wasn't my motive that really was not my motive and um, um, you know just even about my hair it's like when i wore weaves black women keisha you should wear your natural hair why are you always wearing a bunch of makeup and weave this and this and that and now that i'm embracing who i am embracing the natural me black women are coming for me for that too so it's like you can't win for losing you know what i'm saying i don't let that stuff get to me on a daily basis but i felt you know what it's time to address something it's time to address this because if you are not a part of the solution you're gonna you're part of the problem okay so I'm, I just feel like we need to embrace each other more. When you see someone say something on YouTube, try to peel back the layers before you come for their throat. I'm not saying Debbie was coming for my throat, but try to peel back the layers before you come for people's throat. Try to give them the benefit of the doubt. Try to understand what their situation might be or what their situation is and why they are coming off the way that they are okay just take everything with a grain of salt don't be so sensitive is it, it we are so sensitive right now as african americans we are so sensitive as a people and some things just aren't that serious some things just some things are just just don't don't take it to heart so much okay 
not everyone is there to attack not we are not all here to just attack some of us including myself just want to love and want to be loved okay some of us are just positive and we should not be ridiculed for everything that we say but i know i'm on the internet i know this is you know <laughs> youtube is my job so I, I mean i get it okay i get it but just as African Americans, let's try to stick together more as we, especially as women, okay? We get, it's so many, we see so much stuff in this world today on the TV. When you turn on the TV, what is your representation of beauty? It's not your shaved off head or your, your coily hair all the time, black woman. It's these big booties, the straight hair. That's the representation of beauty. So I'm here just to embrace myself, to embrace my coily hair, to embrace the natural natural me and show my daughter it be an example to my daughter okay and even be an example to some of your daughters some of your grandkids or, or whatever a lot of us on the internet always say oh we, I'm not here to be no example no we're not but at the same time we are other people examples there's young girls who look at this channel and try and try to you know try to figure their own self out so if they see me embracing myself embracing who I really am as a black woman what you think that's gonna do for them it's gonna make them feel like it's okay to do this all right it's okay my hair might not be the best but that's okay my hair might be short that's okay I don't have money to buy no weave to buy no 300 400 dollar weave but it's okay I see her embracing herself so let me embrace myself okay so that's what I'm saying that's all I'm saying I said all that to say I'm just about if I die today okay I want you guys to know me as a person who is who is a person for self-love who is a person for embracing yourself health and different things like that that i'm trying to put out all right so just don't y'all don't come for me all right if you want to come for me in the comments whatever come but don't just just calm down all right just calm down <laughs> Anyway, y'all, I'm about to show y'all how to make this pie, and um, I hope I said everything I wanted to say, but get in the comments. Let's spark a conversation. I don't care. As long as you be respectful, you won't be blocked. I don't care even if you disagree with what I'm saying. That's fine, but if you get disrespectful calling me on my name and stuff, then you'll get blocked, unfortunately, okay? I don't want your negativity in my comments, but yeah, get the conversation going. What do y'all feel about this, all right? What do y'all feel about what I'm saying? I want to know you guys' um, opinion on this. I don't, I don't care whether you're a male or a female I want to know what you think about what I'm saying all right it's a conversation I want you guys to get in the comments <laughs> she didn't know it was in her face <laughs> it's it's I scared you <laughs> now hey, Papa, can what I you got on his full football gear y'all full football gear head to toe show me your cleats Papa Yeah, on the moon? Uh-huh. Oh. Huh? I got a football Instagram. Oh, you have a football Instagram. What's your name? Um, Dallas football player. Dallas football player? Uh-huh. Guys, follow me on Instagram. Oh, follow him on Instagram. <laughs> You cute. They got some smacks on. And guys, he only has two pictures. Oh. <laughs> and no pictures. No, I can't get oh. You don't have no pictures because he don't really have an Instagram. No, he has his picture and the Yanni's picture. That's my Instagram. Oh, sorry. <laughs> hey. Hey, okay, I yeah, you have an Instagram. Y'all follow hey, him. I got Yanni's what? Instagram. Yeah. And you so first thing first, we're gonna make our crust for our sweet potato pie. And I'm going to be using these cinnamon oat clusters right here. And I got these from Walmart. I'll have everything down below, but I'm gonna be using these. And I am going to be using some medjool dates. And these are pitted. And I'm gonna be using pink Himalayan sea salt, shredded coconut, brown sugar, Pumpkin pie spice is the answer to everything during holiday times, okay? So y'all gonna see me using this a lot. But yeah, so, and I'm gonna put all of this into a food processor. Like I said, ingredients and measurements will be down below. So check out the description box. So this is the pie crust when I um, processed it in my food processor. This is how you want it to look. You want it to be kind of just grind it all up to where it's pliable. You can make it into like a flat pie crust as you guys can see i just want to show you guys every step of the way but this is it 
and I'm gonna put it into my spring form pan onto some parchment paper. You guys have your pie crust, instead of using your hand to put it into your pan, what I recommend, because it's going to stick to your hand. Look at that, if you guys are using your hand. So what you want to do is take some extra parchment paper that you have, and just flatten it out like that and it makes it a lot easier and you don't have to worry about it sticking or anything like that and you just want to flatten it until it becomes a pie crust. I'm getting ready to make the pie filling and what I'm going to be using is some baked sweet potatoes. You wanna make sure you bake your sweet potatoes and I'm using one fully ripe banana, you guys. This banana is super ripe, look at it. And then I'm gonna be using some raisins, some brown sugar, coconut sugar, some um what is this maple syrup and then some vanilla extract okay so you don't want to leave anything out if you can help it you want to put everything in there and i'm going to put it into my food processor but you can put it into a blender if you want to so it's just totally up to you but this is what i'm getting ready to put into my food processor to make the fill i forgot to mention i'm using pumpkin pie spice in there as well of course okay so i have my pumpkin pie puree right here over the crust and all i'm doing right now is spreading everything out and then once I'm done spreading it all out I'm just going to put it in a freezer for about an hour or so or if you're doing this you know before Thanksgiving you could just put it in there and not before it's no need to bake it you can bake it if you want to just to harden up everything but the freezer will harden it up too so it's just up to you and your preference but Look at that, that puree looks so good. Oh my goodness, and it smells amazing. Now I'm getting ready to make the vegan whipped cream and I'm going to be using as my base some coconut milk. And this is full fat coconut milk and I um, chilled it for 24 hours. I just put it in the fridge, chilled it, and I'm going to be using the coconut fat. The water that's in here, I'm gonna discard it, but I'm going to be using the fat that's in here, just the thick, chunky part of it. And then I'm going to be using maple syrup, pumpkin pie spice of course and then some vanilla extract super simple i'm going to put it into my food processor give it a good whip and make it some whipped cream so you guys it's the next day so what i wanted the reason why i waited till today to finish the process is because i just used that full can of coconut milk that i showed you guys i didn't strain the fat or do any of that i just used the whole thing mixed everything in my food processor and it turned out milky so what i did was i froze it and i'm getting ready to put this into my blender and then i'm going to show you guys how it become whipped cream. guys and this is the finished product of the pie it smells so good so holiday-ish so sweet and oh my goodness so i have my um whipped cream as well right here it's all blended up now you guys can use a piping bag if you guys want to but what i'm going to do is just put a hole in this bag right there at the tip and then just swirl some on the piece that i'm getting ready to try so it's up to you how you guys want to do that last thing i want to mention about the pie look how good it cut for one it cuts so well but this is a refrigerated dish i would really recommend keeping it in the refrigerator and then when you want some just take it out cut it and if you want a room temperature just let it sit for a second and then put it back into the fridge babe tell them what you said about the pie he laying was, down. He don't feel patty. good. <laughs> I thought it was a patty. He said he would eat that over what? I would, I would eat it as a regular dessert. Right? Over, over regular dessert. Over non-vegan dessert. Oh my goodness. It was so good. Papa, what you thought about the pie? I thought I was hungry. He thought he was hungry, he said. <laughs> Ready to take a nap? Yeah. Why? You want it's impossible and you don't want to stay in bed because you call daddy? Uh huh. That made no sense. That's why you too much. Oh, I'm too much? Uh -huh. I think you're too much. You're too because you're going to hear your job. Because I go to my job? <laughs> <laughs> OMG. Because you work so hard. I, I work so hard. <laughs> you're just piecing together everything me and daddy always because talk about and just making sense out of it. You, I always touch the sky. I always touch the sky? Uh -huh. You're making no sense right now, Cletus. Because it's like, 
<laughs> Let me not call Cle Cletus for new people come and be like, Cletus is the best. <laughs> That pie was so freaking good. It's the bomb. I still have some in the fridge. I'm gonna make another one for Thanksgiving, of course. But if you guys make that pie, go ahead and tag me on Instagram, on Snapchat, or wherever. Even leave it in the comments below of this video, letting me know how you like it. And I appreciate you guys. Happy holidays. Like I said, if you are not following me, follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. I think I just said that, but whatever, okay? <laughs> and if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button to become part of this health family. And you guys, I will be back with another video one Monday, as promised. And yeah, you guys, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Love you guys. See y'all Monday. Bye.